Good evening, citizens of Cibolo. My name is Mark Allen. I'm the mayor of Cibolo, Texas. Tonight is Tuesday night, August 27th, 2024. Here to provide a recap of the council meeting tonight. We had a public hearing to conduct a uh, hearing on the conditional use permit to allow a self storage facility that would exist on 3.9 acres within a 14.7 acre piece of property that is located at Old Wiederstein Road and FM 1103 in Cibolo, Texas. No vote was taken on this item tonight. It was just a public hearing. Um, we did have one person who wrote an email and then the developer was here to speak. And we also had uh, Susan Sessler from the Warbler Woods Burr Sanctuary come to speak tonight in opposition to this proposed self-storage facility. Also tonight, we got an update from staff that we will be proceeding with a project to fix the low water crossing within Green Valley Road, just a little bit east of Dean Road. The, uh, that section of Green Valley Road um, floods whenever we have substantial downpour. I know this morning it rained pretty hard and I believe we got more than an inch of rain. And so oftentimes this particular stretch of Green Valley Road has to be closed by our public works department and our citizens are unable to drive on Green Valley Road because it's flooded over. And so what this project will do is add some uh, culverts underneath the road to, for the water to flow. So the water will flow underneath Green Valley Road instead of flooding it. So we are excited about that project. It is anticipated to kick off on October 1st of this year, so you know, a little over a month from now. And while, the, while Green Valley Road is closed, traffic will be detoured up to Old Wiederstein, just uh, north of Green Valley Road. And so folks will be encouraged to use Old Wiederstein to traverse between 1103 and Cibola Valley Drive. Also tonight, we were able to approve a comprehensive sign program for P. Terry's. And that was voted a six to zero in approval. We also received a uh, project, or I'm sorry, we also received a presentation from our EDC staff uh, for a contract for a economic impact or fiscal impact model. And so it was a, a, a really good project, a really good presentation by our EDC staff here within Cibolo. Unfortunately, city council voted against the fiscal impact model and it was a four to two vote. And so I encourage staff to bring that item back after the November election so we can have another look at it this fall. Also, we were able to discuss the purchase of the Carmana School Flasher System. So what that is, is a, an update to the 20 mile per hour school zone signs that flash whenever the, uh, um, and whenever the time is you know, prior to or after school, whenever, um, you know, the school zone speed limit is being enforced. And so the current school zone signs that we have within Cibolo um, have a outdated technology whereby our city staff has to drive around to all of the 20 mile per hour flashing school zone signs and uh, manually set them either on or off, especially during the holidays uh, that, that happen frequently throughout the year. And so what this new um, system would do would would allow the city staff to be able to um, remote control and turn those on or off, you know, from a central um, point. And so that particular item was approved with a six to nothing vote. And so we're excited about that new technology being introduced here in Cibolo. 
Um, also, there was a discussion and action on allowing the city manager to approve a contract with Tyler Technologies for the purchase of a RMS, which is a records management system. And so that's for the police department. And so Tyler Technologies would be supp supplying a software system for our police department to enter the, uh, the police records into. And the city of Shirts is also engaging into a contract with Tyler Technologies. And so this is a, a really nice new system. Um, our chief of police mentioned that their current RMS that Cibolo Police Department is currently using is the most antiquated system that our chief has seen in his 34 years of police work. And so we're real excited about being able to navigate over to this new um, Tyler Technologies record management system for our police department. Also, we were able to receive a presentation regarding a hotel market study. And so that is the result of a market study that our EDC board um, commissioned earlier this year. And it was to study the property over on 78 near Nemitz Park. And so we were able to receive the uh, feedback from the company that performed the hotel market study. And so it was very valuable information for us to have. Also, we received a presentation from the Cibolo Police Department on the SRO job description and the standard operating policy by Chief Andreas and Police Department Recruiting and Hiring uh, Officer Balderas. And so that was a, a very good agenda item for us to learn more about the uh, SRO job description. And so we, we ran out of time for that particular item, so we do plan to bring that item back at a uh, future council meeting in September. So more to come on that one. But that's it for tonight. Thank you very much, citizens of Cibolo. And we'll be back with you during uh, the first Tuesday or the second Tuesday of September for our next council meeting. Have a good night. Thank you.